able to take so many names off these top level Japanese players. And so we got two regions left. We got Carolina, South Carolina, and we got Japan. That's right. So of course, Arfeng trying to bring it home from losers. He's the hometown hero. He's the he's where who's he is who everyone wants to win. Oh yeah. Going up against Sue. All right, we're gonna get started here. Now this matchup <laughs> matches very interesting. You know, both of them I feel like right. have the propensity to be able to kill each other very early. Yeah, um, uh, definitely works both ways. I feel like um, it's gonna be. I mean, we're talking Lucario, right? Uh, we'll see who takes the first stock. But I feel like even Orless Lucario can kind of kill Pichu at 50 just because it's Pichu. Oh uh, yeah, yeah, tiny. But I think the, the maybe the more defining fact of the matchup is that how uh, Lucario is just not gonna be able to keep up with Pichu. At least oh, I yeah. don't think he will. Yeah, because it's like he, Pichu's so quick, and I mean Pichu's also very tiny, very hard to hit, right? But one thing Pichu definitely lacks is that range. Lucario definitely kind of, oh, the jab lock here, gonna be big damage. Yep, down tilt, into the up tilt. Yep, just get that combo extension. Tries to finish it off with the Thunder, but man, the frame trap with the Nair as well. Oh, oh yeah, just gonna wow. clean up that stock really quick. You know, Arfang's smiling, he knows, he was like, ah, oh, yeah, just hold shield, hold shield against Lucario, that's what's gonna happen. Yeah, and I, I mean, I don't, I don't know if uh, Arfang has quite fought a Lucario of this caliber just quite yet. Ah, uh, I can't even think of Lucario <laughs> in, not even in, in just the South Carolina, I can't think of Lucario in North like, Carolina. Glist, I think is probably the best, you know, I can think of. But yeah, I mean, definitely a different, different beast here in this tournament. He's going to have to figure it out, and whoa, man, Good whoa! Lord, almost taking that stock at like 40. Yeah, and I mean, the, we talked about maybe Lucario killing early with the with no aura, but when this Jack filled with the aura, no, that was such a huge drop for Arfing. He needed to take that stock. We have max range on Sue. Yeah, this, these swords will just straight up take. Whoa. Man, and that was just so much damage as well. And yeah, that aura sphere is going to slice right through that. Yeah, and that's wow. that one. You know, Not he, even fully he's charged. Gonna, it might, you know, it might even be he, he swaps characters. You know, it, you know, Pichu, I feel like he's going to have struggles, especially if you don't know the matchup very well to get the kills. Oh. South Carolina blowing up Dude. for the one stop, <laughs> the stock he takes. Yo, the moment, like frame one, when yeah. he landed at that tilt, he gets the, oh, oh he SD. He did kill Sue, but he also SD'd. Yeah, it was even though, it was last stock. You know? Yeah, yeah, it was yeah, last stock, yeah, yeah. right? <laughs> <laughs> but right there, you it, there is a way to set it up so you, the thunder hits yourself so you don't SD. Um, it's very difficult to do. Arfang did do it in his uh, earlier matches in top eight. Yeah. Almost gets it here. And I, I definitely respect Arfang for going for it because he was so behind. He needed to make a very oh, yeah. clutch play happen. It, it looked clear. I think he just fast foot a little too fast for that. Yeah. yeah he, it, it looks so good, though. It looked like he had just perfectly done it. Right. He was definitely in a situation where he had to, you know, clutch it out with some of that Pichu robbery. But uh, game number two coming up. We still got the same picks, and it looks like Arfang going to stick it with the Pichu. All right. Yeah, I mean, I feel like he doesn't know what fully what Lucario, you know, does. It's it's going to be really difficult. You got to adjust. Um, you know, it's just movement. The, the up throw, so good. The up throw up airs are going to be so key. Uh, Arfang needs to close out with up throw up air because he is fighting a floaty character. These floaty characters are very susceptible to up throw up air. Uh, I well, mean, well, you know, I would even argue that, that, that he would he should try and. Get things before they're in up there up or percent. Oh right, 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 yeah, for sure. Because like that always was so big, and you know, it, yeah. That but you just definitely can't be dropping it at later percents, and we, we saw that one drop yeah. at that game one, and that really cost him his stock. Yeah, I mean that. Oh, okay. Oh, there's a jump. The third snipe. Oh, oh. dang, up and around though. Okay, here's all right. Joel. This one's super dangerous because that orb sphere is just gonna start taking his stocks. Yeah, and this percent. He okay, needs to nice dash attack. Needs to get in and get that grab. Oh! The counter on the Thunder Troll. I feel like he didn't even expect think of as an option. Yeah, that. You know, when you, when you just don't play a character enough, you don't know. Yeah, and that was very, very smart from Sue. Uh, I, I mean, he had so much aura, it didn't matter what he countered, and Pichu being so light. Man, and I, I wouldn't be surprised if Pichu died to back air at this percent. Like, honestly. <laughs> yeah, no, I mean, at the ledge, I'm pretty sure, yeah, that would be. Ooh, <laughs> just so scary. Every time Pichu gets hit, I'm like, oh, is that Blast Zone? Yeah, can Art, like, I, I feel like the story of the set is can Arfang. Ooh, gets him with the down smash, gets the stock. South Carolina, pop it off of the boy. Can Arfang take the stock? You know what? The answer is yes. The Randy Chats are coming through. Carolina wants their board to come in, come through, and get this W on Sue. But Sue, man, he is tightening up that neutral. It is so hard for Arfang to get a hit. 
Okay, slowing it down here. Orisphere just slowly tacking on that damage and the forward Ooh, smash. Read the spot dodge. That's, uh, you hate to see it happen. Yep, and spot dodge, I, you know, Sue's you like, know, yo, man, I thought I was the innovator of up being a spot dodge. Oh, yeah, no. You know, it's just, ooh. Loops. Oh, we got these loops. Get the loops. <laughs> oh, man, and the crowd chanting out the loops. He gets the up throw into the uh, thunder. Doesn't connect. But, man, he looped oh. him up for so much damage. Oh, yeah, that was 100%. Oh, there's the back. Oh, Ooh, the down smash. That's gonna take it. That's gonna take it. Dang. Okay, that's a thing. I'm taking some notes. That is a confirm in my book. Oh. Oh, wait a minute. Arvin coming alive. Oh, dang. Oh, it doesn't get the loop right there. The crowd definitely wants the loops, man. They want this comeback. The parry doesn't get the aerial fo to follow. Dude, give me the loops, brother. <laughs> All right. Arvin, you know, really, come and bring this back. I like it. It was looking tragic, and he just, he, you know, he found some. He found some way he can do. He really got in his bag. Yeah, keeping this game a little bit more closer to the chest than we saw game number one. Oh, there's the up air. Reset. Oh, man. Oh, the side B came out. The parry into the down tilt. Okay, this is looking really good. Oh, gets the, oh. almost reacts to that roll. Up throw into Thunder, not going to connect. Sue was able to squeeze out the air Ooh, dodge. down air, that's so scary. Oh, this is a terrible situation for him to be in. That Aura Spear is so does, scary. Yeah, how yep. do you get away? Yep. As Pichu, you know, it's how do you get away from that? It's uh, very, very difficult. And like we said time and time again, the Aura Sphere is so big. So right there, big. So, Sue just reacted. He saw the normal get up, was like, all right, sick, here's my ticket. Releases the neutral B, and yeah. bada bing, bada boom, game two goes into favor of Sue. I wonder where he's going to go. Rob. Now he does have a Rob. <laughs> um, oh man! All right, all right. We, 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 you know, it's it's known as the great value Benny and the Jets. You know, Benny being our <laughs> premier Rob main. Right, right, right. But it's a good Rob. He's good at it. Okay. So let me see how he utilizes it right here. And I, I definitely think Benny was definitely would definitely keep teach him some tricks, right? Oh yeah, Benny's got some sick tricks. But you know, getting in here, I think you know his, his he, he's so good at the confirms on Rob. Uh, yeah, I mean, even though we saw it being, like, really, really close that last game, I just feel like, like you said, man, it could just be so hard as Pichu. Yeah, I mean, like, I imagine it's a matchup that when you're when you're good at it with Pichu or you know it with Pichu, you know, there's a lot more you can do, but never played it before, that's going to be a rough time. Oh, yeah. Well, the Rob doing really, really well so far. A lot of lingering right. hitboxes, and I, I feel like... Well, Arvane definitely wants that weight, too. You never know who's doing the best against Lucario until somebody loses a stock, you know? Yeah, absolutely true. Like you said, just a, just a character that's so dependent on who takes the He's first stock. And he keeps trying to... He keeps trying to shield grab. Oh, that, oh the back... Uh, wow. That was perhaps some suspect DI, but also that back air is just strong. Right, right. And, of course, on Rob as well, like, you have the weight. Okay, everyone in the crowd chatting beep boop. Uh, it is a damage. Yeah, I, mean, I know like there's some like weird like Twitter thing I saw with Beep Boop where you like bury down tilt re grabs thing. Uh, like, yeah, yeah, the, the wobbler. Ooh, tries to get the down air on the recovery. Sue racking on quite a bit of damage here. Okay, there's the nair. Man, and right now. Arfang just having a little trouble getting something started here. Sue doing such a good job avoiding him in neutral. <laughs> I, I love the Carolina crowd, man. It's so fun. Yeah. <laughs> we are an expressive crowd. Oh, I like the parry. Very much so confidence here. What's the Ooh, is that going to kill him? Yeah, wow. that's going to take it. Wow, off the Sue going up three stocks to one. Randy's really got to dig deep. <laughs> He's got to dig. Oh, he's got to dig super deep for this one. Oh man! It's if just, he wants, if he wants it to work out, that's how he killed him at eighty percent before the hit. Like oh that. yeah, you know that's that's super. Yeah. All right. Okay, let's wait. See. This should be. Oh wow! No, he, he gets out. Air dodge. Wow! What an incredible mash out coming out from Sue. Oh, he's just throwing out the kitchen sink. Yep. Yep. Got to do something. At this point, you got to get the kill some way, somehow, man. But the whole time you're doing it, the punish game from. Uh, <laughs> The spatula chance coming up from Carolina, and Sue is still alive. Okay, oh, this up throw. And boom. Hey. The crowd popping off for the boy, Arfang. All right, so this is, uh, like you said, he dug deep. Boy, he's got to dig deep again. <laughs> <laughs> dig deeper. Dig deep times two. Yeah, you know, it, it, it's going to be oh, it's gonna be rough. And the Sue's not going to be able to kill him like this, but it's soon enough, right? Oh, yeah. 
But, I mean, as long as Arfang starts to find his footing, it's really all about the neutral. If he can find his footing in the neutral, he can really start mounting this uh, this comeback here. But Sue, man, just such a solid rock. Okay. Up throw fair. Yep. Okay, but he loses right. stage control. Drift in there. Oh, he gets the trip. Almost gets the grab as well. Okay. Oh, wow. It double jump as well. Ooh, it managed to somehow slip past that. It's not been... Oh, if you okay. got a grab. Oh, Ooh, the back air. That almost killed. There's a top set up. The parry? Wow, that was so close. Oh, man. Okay, this Rob is moving, though. Oh, uh, yeah. All right, let's see. The worst oh, let's that see. top is so destructive. He's and moving I like around so much. I think Sue, Sue kind of realized that he can't, he can't sleep. And there, there's the parry Ooh, into the side, the side B. B. Just grabbing him. That is going to do it, and that will be our Fangs run. What an incredible run out at third place here at Grand Tour South Carolina. You know, yeah, I, I'm really proud of my boy. Dude, uh, and, shout yo, out South Carolina. Yo, good sportsmanship. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah, they're, they're chanting Sue now because we're homies, I guess, you know? And that, that's something I respect, you know what I mean? They, they wanted their homie to win, but they definitely respect the skill that Sue did to get to the spot he's at. Oh, yeah. And to be able to knock out Arfang and you know end his run, you know both these people. <laughs> I, I think I think you know if you want to get the side. Whenever we travel, we try we cheer super hard. We we're like this big pool of people running around at majors always, and we always you know he's talking about it like 